What's going on, people? This is boy Golden Ghost here. Um, I just wanted to go over real quick what I thought was some recommendations for some faith weapons and the truth about faith weapons. So um, we're going to start. I'm not going to waste your time. Um, I have to go to bed in an hour anyway. The truth about faith weapons is that, honestly, there's not a lot. You kind of have to make, you kind of have to take, you know, you kind of have to make, make what you can of it. Um, um, you have Vikes War Spear. That this, um, as far as like dedicated faith, um, this is a good faith dex weapon. Um, it kind of it builds up madness, which I'm not entirely sure what madness does. At least to these enemies, what I think they're doing, I think is stunning, uh, stunning them. Excuse me. Let me show you. Like I get, I get that animation right there, which I haven't gotten for any other weapon. So I'm assuming that that's what that is. Um, what's another good faith dex? Um, if you really want. Um, faith decks on other weapons like straight swords or curved swords. You can always add in the the um, where is that? You can always add a. Hold on. All right. As I was saying. You can always add on the Sacred Blade Ash Award to really just about any straight sword or curved sword in the game. And it's like a better version of this Eclipse Shoto. Now, you're probably wondering what is this Eclipse Shoto? Um, basically, you just buff it. And other than that, it's just a sickle. You just swing with it. Um, don't get me wrong, it does decent damage when you level it up. But it's, it's a dagger. So you're kind of, you're kind of, if you're not using your spells, you're kind of at a disadvantage from range. Um, if you're not using your faith incantations. So I wouldn't recommend it, especially when you have the sacred blade, which the Ash of War literally is a, the same thing, but ranged. So basically a ranged version and you could throw this on any weapon, no matter how good or bad it is. And you could do semi decent with the holy buff on there. So, um, the other, another good um, faith. It would be this one right here, the black knife. Um, it kind of has the exact same weakness as the other blade being that it's a dagger but i say that this is good because this ash of war is literally a damage over time a damage over time um ash of war like if i had this upgraded i'd be doing a lot more but even without it upgraded you've seen the damage i was doing get like nice 400 damage before it drops off but yeah just keep in mind you are using a dagger so take with that what you will but it does scale off of faith and dex so there's that um Now, what I would consider to be, you know, what I would consider to be the best Dex weapon as far as Dex and Faith, easily the Sacred Relic Great Sword. I'm not even gonna say too much. I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh this, and I'm just gonna let it speak for itself. If you guys haven't seen this already, prepare yourself. This is some wild shit you're about to witness.
that shit is incredible for multiple reasons one the range as you just seen is godlike two the damage and three the amount of super armor you get when you do this move you can still take damage don't get me wrong but you can literally be getting hit by a uh, aoe scarlet rot attack by um one of those um earth tree one of those earth tree minions and you'll still finish the animation like you can be getting hit and everything and you won't you will not take damage from this or like you will take damage but you won't get stunned you won't get hit out of your move that's what i'm trying to say and that's what makes it so good now as far as pvp that's left to be desired people can still dodge roll out this you're gonna have to really outsmart somebody to to catch them with this but i would say this is a pretty a really good faith dex weapon now faith strength is a it's a different bag you really don't have too many options um like you really don't have that many options um uh yeah malicus black blade which is cool um it's nice it's just the colossal sword play style is really slow and then the weapon art sometimes it can be a bit glitchy it can be a bit glitchy here and there i don't know what it is but i don't know what it is but the um sometimes it has the weapon art has a tendency of you doing the move and then the opponent gets health back before their health starts to drain i don't know what it is with that but i don't like that i don't know if they fixed it or not but i haven't used the weapon since um blasphemous blade and gargoyle's black blade they're, they're kind of in the same ballpark except gargoyle's black blade is more like a baby of blasphemous blade and malicus black blade because blasphemous blade um and gargoyle's black blade they both have the exact same animation but gargoyle's black blade has the same effect as the black malicus black blade so you're getting the damage over time with this but you get more raw damage with this which is why everybody uses this this is everybody's go-to for a faith strength build um if you want to try something different get your hands on the gargoyle sacred great sword this is actually a very good um if you can get sacred blade on this you actually do have yourself a really strong weapon very underrated i wouldn't i'm not going to sit here and say this the best especially with sacred blade sacred blade is kind of a lackluster ash of war just in all honesty but the with the damage you do when it's buffed the damage you do when the great sword is buffed is actually really good for it to just be on just anything you know so yeah um, I would say that that's a pretty good weapon too. But yeah, man, it, it's not a lot of good faith weapons to go off of. You kind of have to take weapons and make them your own. But those are my recommendations, bro. Um, Gargoyle's Black Blade, Blasphemous Blade. Um, those those are really your main three if you want to dedicate it faith strength. Um, another faith strength weapon that I haven't mentioned yet is the magma worm scale sword that also scales off faith and strength and the only reason why I haven't mentioned that is because I have no idea how good the magma worm scale sword is um I know it has fire damage but <sighs> I, I just don't know how good it is um that will require more testing um Let's see. There's also the Gargoyles Black Blades. Those are also scaling off um, faith and um, strength. But to be honest, you can't really equip an Ash of War to it. And without you equipping an Ash of War to it, and with its 
move being just a regular spinning slash and no passive effects, I don't really think it's really a worthwhile weapon. You're better off using the Gargoyle's Twin Blade and then putting the weapon art on there, which is what I did with um with the weapon art that I have on it right now, the um, Black Flame Tornado. But yeah, um, it's not really much you can go off of. I had the Hand of Melania, but that's just a pure dexterity weapon, which is why my dexterity is at a fucking 60. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not really... It's not a, a lot that really go off of for faith. You kind of really have to just make it things your own, you know. So, yeah, that's the truth about faith weapons. But if you want faith decks, fucking Sacred Relic Sword, dude. Fucking go for it. Um, if you want faith strength, like I said, uh, Blasphemous Blade, Black Blade. If you want to be different, use the Gargoyle's Gray Sword with the Sacred Blade on there. Um... Really, man. I, I sound like a broken record right now. That's that's really all I have. Um, and, yeah. Um, next time you see me, I'll be showing you guys my new build. I kind of want to see what this does, though. <laughs> Holy... Fall off. Fall off. You don't want to fall off? Oh my god. Okay. Alright guys, that's all I got for you. See you later.